Hello and welcome to BWB TV. My name is Blake Shuka, Business Development Manager at Informa Connect Life Sciences. I'm joined here today with Dr. Frank Talia Ferry, Vice President of Pharmaceutical Development at Peace Life Sciences. Um, thank you for joining us today. Hi, nice to meet you. Great. Um, let's start with the first question. Um, I see you have worked in many places in industry. Why in a CRO, CDMO now? And what makes this compelling? Um, yeah, so I, I have been kind of working in the pharma industry for kind of over 30 years now. And I kind of started traditionally at small biotech and, and pharma. Um, but those those jobs are very kind of um, um, singular in terms of we work on either a product or a group of products and kind of push it through um, a single technology. Um, and it was it was very, very fulfilling, et, et cetera. However, um, after this time, the ability to kind of work in an area where I can kind of work on a number of molecules at the same time, a number of technologies, and really help push all these things through as opposed to just one or two, to me is a lot more satisfying. And I can kind of use a little more of my skills now um, um, that I have a kind of a broader background. Excellent. Okay. Um, can, can you tell us about the work you and your teams at Pace Life Sciences do and how the growing number of sites position the company as a leader in the market? Sure. So, so Pace is, is really a, a CRO, CDMO that it's really um, put in place to help um, customers develop drugs. Right. And so uh, we'll, we'll really help, help a client uh, do whatever they need to kind of get their drug to market. Um, and so um, from our early labs, where we'll help people in preclinical development, help them get drugs into animal studies, look at their toxicology of the drugs, formulations, to, to later stage, where we're helping them file the INDs or, or doing the regulatory work that, that needs to happen to get, get things approved. We, we can really help that, that full uh, spectrum of work now. And Pace has been growing, so the, the addition of, of manufacturing sites allows us to actually help clients manufacture their drugs and get, get them uh, on the market that way. Over the years, um, there has been an increase in the use of CDMO and CROs, and PACE has grown significantly. Um, in what ways have you seen the company change, and what are your thoughts on its future? Yeah, so, so yeah, CRO, CDMOs are really, you know, they're really ubiquitous now in the, in the whole drug development, you know, uh, paradigm. Um, and PACE really started out as a, a as a, as a testing organization to help people to do, do some GMP testing. But, you know, over the years now, we really increased our capability so we can help clients, um, you know, develop any any part of their their, their product from early stage preclinical work to, you know, toxicology work to, to IND enabling studies to, you know, uh, the, the regulatory uh, part. And so, so PACE has really expanded what we can do and it's really expanded the number of clients we work with. There has been a lot of consolidation in the CRO, CDO, and CDMO market in recent years. How does that affect your partner experience and how does that separate PACE from the competition? Um, I think we we are able to, to provide more services to, to clients. So it does allow us to kind of interact with a lot more um, um, parts of organizations, you know, from, from early stage development to late stage development. Um, and so the, the, the really advantages of partnering PACE in, the, in this kind of environment is we're not a huge organization. You know, we're still uh, fa fairly modest. And so we, we don't have a lot of kind of the, the, the infrastructure and red tape that a lot of people need to get through to, to get their drugs develop, developed. And so we're really focused on a kind of a single customer experience where you talk to someone um, they, and they'll figure out what you need to do and figure out where in the organization things need to get done. And so uh, I think I think our goal here is kind of a seamless experience where you ask, you ask you know, somebody in the organization what you need and then we'll figure it out and then kind of deliver, deliver to the client. Okay, and what are the advantages of partnering with Pace? Um, I, I guess partnering pace, one of the big advantages is um, we are very efficient. I think our timelines are, 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 you know, some of the best in the industry in terms of getting projects started and getting them finished. And so I think partnering with us really, uh, uh, you know, will, will help you kind of with your efficiency to, to get things done. That's great. Um, in the market today, what is the best way to interact with CRO and CDMO to truly maximize the potential in the partnership? And what are the pitfalls? 
Um, well, I, I think the, the best way to interact with us is kind of tell us the whole story. Tell us kind of what, what you're looking for in the development of a particular project. And then um, let us kind of tell you where, where we can kind of help you with your efficiencies and getting, getting things done. So as opposed to just coming with a, a specific request, which we can obviously do um, to, to kind of take full advantage of the entire organization and all our multiple sites and capabilities, really kind of let's go over the project and see kind of where, which parts of the project we can help. Because we do almost have a, a you know, start to finish uh, uh, approach now where we can help in, in almost every area. Interesting. And how does PACE adapt to the problems um, they have may not seen before? Um, yeah, so that's actually something that's kind of close to my heart is one of the reasons I, I really got into the, the, the CRO industry is, is to be able to kind of um, tackle tackle projects that CROs typically didn't do, you know, more researchy things, more things that are a little uh, a little more complicated. And so here in, in the Boston site where, where I sit, we have a fairly kind of a high level organization, about half PhDs. And so we will tackle almost any any issue that comes to us. And I'll be honest, the people even like to do things that aren't, uh, aren't as routine and, you know, maybe be a little more cutting edge. Um, the other thing that Pace is really good at is we're taking these kind of novel cutting edge technologies and turning them into the the, the regulated um, um, tests that need to happen, right? So you may have a, a novel idea you want to work on. We're going to figure out how to get that into a QC lab, get it tested, get it into an IND, et cetera. So, so that's really the, our, our, our part here is to kind of transform this stuff into, into kind of reality as opposed to just, you know, some research. That's great. Um... Next question, we all hope to emerge from our early phase tox um, studies with a molecule showing true potential. How does PACE help their partners with the next steps towards um, commercialization? Yeah, so so the first step really is to, you know, someone comes up with a molecule, they start testing it, and they want to make sure it's, it's, it's safe. Once we've kind of gone over that hurdle, the next step is to really um, characterize that drug we get everything in place and then get it get it filed, you know, with the agency. And so we have all the, the parts there to, to do that. So once once you know that the molecule is good and you're going to spend the money to develop it, we can help you put the formulations together. We can put the assays together. We can develop the QC assays you need, and then we can actually do that work. And then ultimately, like I said, we now have the capability to manufacture uh, these projects uh, products. And so that that that's an extra step we can help clients. with. Very interesting. Um, next question. You've been in this industry for a while. Um, where do you see our industries heading in the next three to five years? And what do you, you know, what do people need um, to know to stay relevant at this time with the shifting demands? Um, yeah, I, I agree. Things are shifting and, you know, the, the, the pandemic has has helped kind of push one technology really into the forefront of uh, of the whole pharma industry. And, and that and that's great. Um, I think that, you know, we, we need to be in a place where we can take the next technology that's that's going to be novel and push that through. You know, I hope we don't need a pandemic in order to get everybody to work on, you know, mRNA technology going forward. But I think we're, we're, we need to be in a place where we can kind of anticipate what may be the next technology and, and start getting that into the pipeline so we don't have to do it as kind of an emergency basis where all hands are on deck. That's really wonderful. Um, that actually wraps up our questions for today. Um, fantastic. And thank you so much again for joining us. Again, I'm Blake Shuka, um, Business Development Manager at Informa Connect Life Sciences and interviewing Dr. Frank Talia Ferry, uh, Vice President of Pharmaceutical Development at Pace Life Sciences. And that concludes today's BWB TV.